Hello everyone, this is Justin from Justin's Orchids and More, and I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. It is uh, December 12th, I think, and um, here in South Carolina, you know, during this time of year, it's, uh, today is um, kind of cloudy, uh, you know, it's in the 50s, it's windy, um, outside, leaves are falling, you know, typical late fall weather that we're having here right before Christmas um, inside the greenhouse right now. It's about 70 degrees with 53% humidity, which is good. Um, but I hope everybody's having a good day. And um, I got two um, two orchids a day that I want to repot. And, um, you know, my, my videos are never, I, I don't never know, like it's never planned and it's kind of just random how I do this. But um, I've got two orchids a day that I want to repot. And... Um, one is my um, Ingrecum leonis right here that I recently got, and it's still in bloom. And, um, you know, some people might say, well, why would you repot that right now while it's in bloom? It might, you know, stunt the blooms or whatever. I'm not really worried about that. What I'm really worried about is getting this Vandacious type orchid out of this potting soil. Like, it has to be done today. So um, that's what I'm about to do. Um, that's going to be, um, uh, that's going to be one repot that I'm going to do real quick. And the other one is this Ingrecium that I got from Paula for Christmas. Um, and she got this from Tony at Let's Talk Plants. Um, I like Tony. I like that guy. Um, he, um, you know, he sells on uh, Instagram and he sells on Facebook and, and, you know, I think he has a, a eBay, you know, eBay shop too, but, um, yeah, this is uh this is another one. Um, you know, the plant's growing fine in this media right here, but for me, the way you know, in my growing environment, I've got to change this. Um, I want this to be a little bit more airy, the soil to be a little more airy, and you know, just to have that good wet to dry cycle that I talk about. And what I use, this is my go-to. I went to Lowe's yesterday and I bought two bags of it. Um you can go to Lowe's. This is like, this is $5 a bag. Um, the Better Grow uh, potting mix, you know, it has charcoal, uh, perlite, um, you know, fine bark. I really like this stuff. I've used it a lot. I really like to use um, coconut husk as well, but I don't have any right now. I've got some on order. And, um, you know, when it gets here, I'll use it. But um, I have a little bit left. But, um... Yeah, so this is the repots that I'm going to do today. And, um, all right, so, yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, see this? Now, if, um, if this root system looks good enough, that's what, uh, I'm going to put this in Grecium Leonis in this plastic pot right here. But no, um, yeah, here we go. Um, no, I just, you know, I've been busy at work and that is way too wet. Look at that. Look at that. I've been, um, I've been busy at work. Um, you know, I've been working first shift and I haven't been able to, um, make videos during the week because I work so much, you know, from seven 30 to five 30 in the day. And when I get off at five 30, it's dark at night. So, you know, I haven't been able to make videos during the week and, um, but I want to say that um, starting Monday, I'm going to second shift. And that's going to be from like 3.30 p.m. till about 11.30 p.m. So that's going to be a lot different for me. And I'll actually be able to make some videos during the week now before I go to work. Um, yeah, guys, look at this. Um, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, you know, for me, the way I water and stuff, yeah, let's just look at this. Uh, this is uh, definitely a really thick potting soil. Um, let me just uh, stop talking for a minute. The roots actually don't look bad. But I know in my growing environment, I've got to change this because this, 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 this will stay too soggy. Like it's just, it's really, really wet right now. Um, yeah, I've got to change this. All right, so what I'm going to do, you know, what I'm doing right now, I'll just show you. Um, try not to disturb the, the roots too much. Um, 
but I want to get all this soil from around the roots just to see what kind of roots that I have on this plant. And I don't have a lot. I thought I had, I thought this plant would have a little bit better root system, but that's okay. I mean, this, this Leonis looks a lot better than my Leonis right now, but I mean, mine's doing fine, but I just know what I need to do with this plant. So what I'm doing right now is just, just trying to take the soil, all the soil around. I want to get all the soil that I can from around these roots as much as I can. And let's look at this root system. I actually thought it would have a better root system, but you know what? That's, it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. Um, you know, it's actually a pretty vigorous plant to have, uh, you know, that spike and this spike right here. But, um, yeah, I don't want it to stay too soggy as far as the roots go. And, you know, like, um, that's a nice root right there. Um, you know, I watch certain channels. I used to watch, um, Rogers or Rogers orchids. I think he's from Europe and, um, that guy would just butcher plants. Like I would, I would, I would watch his videos and he would just rip roots. And, you know, when he did repots, he would rip plants apart and, you know, just cut all the roots and just, it was, it was painful to watch him repot a plant. And, um, when he started begging for money from people, that's when I, you know, I didn't, I unsubscribed to his channel because I just think that's just out of the way. That's just something you shouldn't do. But, um, yeah, he used to butcher plants for me. You know, I look at this root system right here and, um, the sun's coming up nice right now. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not going to cut any dead roots or anything. Um, this is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to show you. All right. So I'm going to set the plant down and I don't know. I was, I was hoping that it had a better root system. But I like I like this uh, plan that I got. What I'm gonna do is take this uh, this little plastic container right here that I have these rocks in, and um, you know I like to recycle things. I like to use different. You know, just I like to recycle stuff. So, you know, I'm gonna take this plastic container right here, and I think this plastic container I've got some more of these that I've been saving that I'm gonna use for my catacetums. Um, in the springtime, I think this will work well. But I'm gonna take my Dewalt drill and I'm gonna drill, you know, some holes in here so it can drain, the water can drain out. About like that, okay. All right, and um, Like I said, I like this uh, Orchiana bark right here. And what I'm gonna do, I don't really like this, but actually, let's do this real quick. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's show you something. Move my hand so I don't get cut. Yep, that's better. See what I did? See that? Now it's more like a manageable pot. And um, what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna add this uh, this bark in here. Um, I'm looking at the roots. And how deep you know they might go and I'm gonna leave this aerial root right here outside like that see I'm not gonna put that inside the pot I'm gonna leave that out and um, yeah But now, you know, the greenhouse, um, 
you know, I, I you know, I, I, li- I would like to think that I'm doing a pretty good job at it, but, um, you know, it's always a work in progress. You know, I, I deal with, um, humidity and, you know, just having to water the way I do and just different things. And, um, I know. But no, the greenhouse is doing good. Um, I, um, I'm really worried about, you know, the temperatures in January and February because I don't know how low it's going to drop. Because, you know, outside, if, if it's, um, if it's 34 degrees outside, it's probably 55 degrees in here, you know, so, um, so I've been worried about that a little bit, but, um, for the most part, I did have a fan go out on me yesterday. I've got to replace replace that fan. Um, I have one heater that I really like, and I have one heater that um, I don't really like so much. But um, hold on one second. All right, sorry guys, I had to let Maisie out. Um, Maisie, my cat, was in here and she wanted to get out of the greenhouse. Anyway, so you know, I've repotted this plant. This is what I. This is basically all I'm going to do. Um, actually, I want to, I want to pick the plant up a little bit. I don't want it to be buried so deep. So all I'm going to do is just kind of pick the plant up a little bit and then tuck, tuck the bark like that. See that? And then what I'll do is, um, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm a, I'm a orchid in a pot rocks type person. So what I'll do is put some of these rocks that I got from my, on the floor of my greenhouse. And I will keep this aerial root right here like that and you know and, and why i did this because you know like i said the um the potting soil with this orchid the potting soil is just going to be it, it would stay too wet too moist um you seen when i pulled it out of the pot um you know how soggy it was with the setup i have right here you know this plant has it has um you know, has a chance to have that good wet to dry cycle. Um, I can water it and, you know, water and fertilize it and it won't, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll stay moist for a little while and then, you know, it'll dry out and get good, good bright sunlight in the greenhouse. Um, that's perfect for me. All right. So that's one repot right there. I'll show you the next one. All right, guys. So I'm back. Um, yeah, the, the Leonis looks good. Um, I like that. That's that's just perfect for me, you know, in my greenhouse. Um, you know, when I water it, um, you know, it'll it'll get moisture, and when I fertilize it or whatever, but it'll have you know it'll have a better chance of uh, the roots have a better chance of drying out, you know, in this uh, setup that I have right here, and I like that a lot. So that's that. Um, now let's move on to. Um, to the orchid that I got from uh, Paula. And um, this is another Ingrechium. And, you know, I think I think the, the orchid is growing fine, you know, the way it is, but um, I can give it a better chance at having better, I can have better success, you know, uh, repotting this and some uh, orchid on a bark. So, same thing. Um, what I'm gonna do, look how that root has trained around. You know, I suspect that uh, Tony probably had this plant, um, you know, in a in a container where he had several plants, you know, stacked up. That's just what it looks like to me. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look at this root system. And um, I really like my Ingrechiums. I do. I like them a lot. And um, Let's look at this root system on this one. 
This is uh, this was potted in some you know finer um, bark mix, which was fine, and I think it, it you know I think it's okay. I can tell this was um, if you look at the root system right here, you see how that is. Uh, let, me, let me get some more of this bark off, and I'll show you. I'm not trying to damage these roots, but yeah, this was um, see how all the the roots are formed in this little like plug type thing right here um yeah that that plant was probably in that pot for a little while like i said he probably had it um he probably had a tray you know like i said he probably had a tray with um all these plants growing in it you know whatnot and that's fine they done well but um for me i've got to reset this plant so what i'm doing right now is um i'm gonna take all this uh sphagnum moss because yeah there was a, if you look down in here, look at the root system, there was sphagnum moss for the young plant right here. And then, you know, they put, he put the bark around it, which is, which is fine. Um, but no, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to cut any roots. Um, and I'm really not going to get too in depth with, um, disturbing this root system a whole lot, but I do want to, um, I want to get it kind of cleaned out so you know so when i have it growing in you know in the pot this is the pot that i've chosen right here i'm gonna up pot it a little bit right there see that and um that's what i'm gonna use i got these uh these pots off of ebay um good drainage um you know real i like these pots they're uh they're good quality so that's that um back to the plant you know what, I'm not gonna sit here on camera and mess with this root system too much, but I like that, that's fine. See that? I'm not gonna stir the root system any more than that. And what I'm gonna do is pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna take my Orkiana bark that I got right here and um, let's do this. I'm wondering if I should put that aerial or not. And you know what? I'm not. For this orchid, I'm going to take those aerial roots and I'm going to put them down in the pot. No, I really, you know, I really like ingrechiums. Um, I don't know. I've, I've done a lot of research on, um, you know, orchids from uh, Madagascar. And uh, they're just, you know, for me, and I, I really like the white blooms, the you know, the fragrant flowers. Um, they are just um, some of my favorites. And, you know, this is why I'm really, uh, you know, trying to get a, a step ahead and just kind of, repot both of these plants now before spring so they'll grow you know hopefully they'll grow well for me next year and all I'm doing is I'm taking this Orkiana bark and I'm just kind of pushing it around the pot I would think that this plant right here probably likes you know, at least bright indirect sunlight, if not some direct morning sunlight. Um, I'm gonna, you know, kind of move it around and um, see what it likes, you know, after it adjusts to the repot and, you know, I'll move it around and, you know, I think, I would think that this plant likes um, brighter light. So, yeah. I play around with it, you know, that's the hobby, you know, it's just, it's, it's all about what you want to do. Um, you know, I move plants around all the time. Some plants, some plants fail, some plants don't. Some plants grow well, some don't. Um, some plants bloom, some don't. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all about the hobby. Um, but I think I like that. And like I say, I want to, you know, I want to keep, um, 
I definitely don't want to bury the plant too deep. Okay. I don't want to bury it too deep. And, um, Again, I'm going to add some rocks. Like that. And you know what? Set it and forget it. Put it off. Let it, you know, water it, fertilize it, let it go, let it grow. Um, thank you, Paula, for that orchid. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, repot video for today. And, um... Hope everybody has a good weekend. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. I'm like, I'm like nine away from 500 subscribers. And um, you know what? I could care less if I ever get to a thousand, but um, I really would like to get to 500 subscribers. Um, I would. I hope you guys enjoy my content. And um, you know, maybe one day, um, I can show you blooms off this plant. Um, thank you, Paula, for this Christmas present. Um, Tony, let's talk other, let's talk plants. Thank you, Tony. Um, I appreciate it. I'm going to be ordering some plants from you, dude. Anyway, see you guys on the next one.